Buenos días, les anunciamos que estaremos promocionando interpretación de la ceremonia de grabación en español. Si desean escucharla en español, tenemos una mesa por la entrada del estadio donde pueden solicitar un dispositivo y audífonos. Gracias. Hello. To start, our, start off our Hill High graduation ceremony today, please welcome our future Spartans to the field. These students are from our Hill High feeder schools and represent the future of our school and community. Representing the class of 2034, from Brookwood Elementary, please welcome Yusuf Bekur and Milani Martinez Lopez. <laughs> Representing the class of 2033 from Witch Hazel Elementary, please welcome Azim Elekuru and Daniela Garcia. Representing the class of 2032 from the great W.L. Henry Elementary, please welcome David Lopez Prado and Emmanuel Torres Barajas. Representing the class of 2031 from Farmington View Elementary, please welcome Hollis Rickard. Danielle McGuire, Geneva Danes, and Spencer Danes. From Minterbridge Elementary, representing the class of 2030, please welcome Celia Gangora Dominguez and Wyatt Moody. From Groner Elementary, please welcome representing the class of 2029, Daisy Garcia Zordaz and O.T. Shipman. Representing the class of 2028 from Rosedale Elementary, please welcome Diella Stambau and Sarah Alonzo. Representing the class of 2027 from our feeder middle school, South Meadows Middle School, please welcome Justin Day. And finally, representing the class of 2026 from South Meadows Middle School, please welcome Xiomara Huitron Castaneda. Our future Spartans, everybody, let's give them a round of applause.
Hello, graduate staff, families, and friends. Welcome to the 2022 graduation event for Hillsborough High School. We have some very important announcements to share with you, so kindly give us your attention for a few moments. In the unlikely event we need to evacuate the stadium, a loud horn will sound. Should this occur during the event, please remain calm, quickly proceed to the nearest exit, and gather on softball fields two or five located adjacent to the end zone areas where you will receive further instructions. In the event of severe weather or lightning, we will make an announcement and observe a 30-minute delay. We will make an announcement at the end of the 30-minute delay to let you know if the event can proceed or if any additional delay is necessary. At the conclusion of the graduation ceremony, students will be directed to exit to the north side of the field. Guests will not be allowed on the field and will instead be asked to exit the same way they entered. You are then asked to drive around to the north end of the stadium to pick up your student and exit the property as promptly as possible. Please be courteous and respectful to one another and let's make this a fun and memorable event for our graduates. Thank you. Hola graduados, personal, familia y amigos. Bienvenidos al evento de la graduación de la Escuela Preparatoria Hillsboro. Tenemos unos anuncios muy importantes para compartir con ustedes. Por favor, denos su atención por unos momentos. En el improbable caso que, de que tengamos que evacuar el estadio, sonará una bocina fuerte. Si eso ocurre durante el evento, por favor, mantenga la calma. Diríjese directamente a la salida más cercana y reúnase en el campo de softball 2 o 5, ubicado junto a las zonas finales donde recibirán más indicaciones. En el evento de clima severo o relámpagos, haremos un anuncio y observaremos un retraso de 30 minutos. Haremos un anuncio después de los 30 minutos para avisarles si podemos continuar o si un retraso adicional es necesario. Al final de la ceremonia de graduación, los estudiantes serán dirigidos a la salida del norte del campo. Los invitados no serán permitidos en el campo y se les pedirá que salgan por la misma parte donde entraron manteniendo la distancia física en mente. Después se les pide que manejen hacia la salida norte del estadio para recoger a su estudiante y salir de la propiedad lo más pronto posible. Por favor, sean corteses y respetuosos unos con otros y hagamos este un evento divertido y memorable para nuestros graduados. Gracias.
Welcome to the Hillsborough High School graduation ceremony for the class of 2022. Remember that time when they let us out for a two-week extended spring break? Here we are, over two years later, having survived a global pandemic along with challenges no other class has had to face. Despite all odds, we are together again as the class of 2022, sharing this special time and space with each other and with the people whom we love most in the world watching from the stands and at home. We missed out on a heck of a lot, but today we have this incredible opportun opportunity to celebrate the past 13 years of our lives. And most importantly, we celebrate as a family of Spartans. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Hill High's Encore to sing the national anthem. With us today are several distinguished guests on stage. I am happy to introduce our superintendent, Mike Scott, our assistant superintendents, Dale Spitzer and Travis Ryman. Also joining us are members of our school board, Mark Watson, board of chair, Nancy Thomas, board vice chair, Erica Lopez, board member, Sheehan Kim, board member, and of course, also on stage is the one and only Dave Vickery, principal of Hill High. Thank you all for being with us today as we recognize the graduating class of 2022. We would also like to welcome to the stage our honored Spartan staff, Stacy Palaya Roberts, IB history teacher, Alvaro Arez, world language and social studies teacher, and our incredible senior counselors, Marla Lyle and Amy Wahlberg. Graduates, will you please be seated? Also joining us on stage this afternoon are our class of 2022 senior class officers. Please welcome, and I'd like you to stand, them to stand, senior class president, Margaret Shively. Margaret Shively. Senior class vice president, Isabel Tapley. 
Senior Class Treasurer, Cassidy Meekum. Senior Class Secretary, Ben Dunn. Good job, Ben. And Senior Class Officer at Large, Brooklyn DeBoer. And it is my pleasure to introduce the, AS, the senior ASV officers. There's ASV President Love Valdez. <laughs> ASB Vice President Aaron Felder. <laughs> ASB Treasurer Sabrina Turnes. <laughs> and ASB Officer at Large Kennedy Hall. At this time, I would like to invite Superintendent Mike Scott to the podium to welcome the class of 2022. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Hillsborough School District, it's truly an honor to join to celebrate the outstanding achievements of Hill High's class of 2022. To all the families and friends who are gathered here this afternoon, we extend our sincere appreciation the patience, grace, and partnership that you've extended over the past 13 years, and particularly the past two and a half years, is greatly appreciated. Your presence at this event signifies that you value education and recognize the importance of the hard work and perseverance that these students have demonstrated. Thank you to Principal Vickery and the amazing team of teachers and staff who have worked to make a difference in the lives of our students. Special congratulations to Principal Vickery today, who's celebrating his birthday with the graduates. He's 57 today. Congratulations, Dave. <laughs> to the graduates here, congratulations. Your perseverance and resilience are truly amazing. You found success and thrived during a very difficult time. Graduates, you know the thing that happens when you start talking to your parents and maybe you're complaining a little bit? It could be something as innocent as, I can't believe how much homework I have tonight. Or you may say something like, I can't believe we had to spend part of our high school years in social distancing and distance learning. An innocent comment, right? However, this comment is oftentimes met from a parent with something like, you have no idea how easy you have it. When I was a kid, and then when you hear that phrase, when I was a kid, you know what's coming next. There's going to be all kinds of comparisons about how they had to walk to school both ways, about how they couldn't binge watch TV shows. They had to wait an entire week for a new episode to come out. You hear all of the hardships that they endured. It almost becomes a contest of who had it worse. I can tell you someday though, when you have kids and they start saying how hard it is, you'll have a story that beats any other story that they can ever come up with. You endured a worldwide pandemic during your high school years. Nothing's ever going to beat that. The amazing thing is it didn't define you, it didn't destroy you. You've learned to appreciate what you have and not what you've missed. You've emerged from a challenging time in a way that made you stronger. So enjoy this moment this afternoon, the moment that you've worked so hard for, the moment that you've thought about, the moment you've been waiting for, and the moment that you've earned. Take some time also to be thankful for those people that have helped you along the way. Reflect back on the teachers, friends, staff, family that have helped you, that have helped you make, turn into the person that you are today. The diploma that you received this afternoon signifies the accomplishment of a successful partnership between you and the Hillsborough School District. It signifies an incredible amount of work. It showcases the challenges that you've overcome and the successes that you've achieved. We're so proud of you, honored to share this celebration with you. Congratulations and enjoy the moment. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Scott, for your inspiring words and joining us today as we celebrate the class of 2022. I will now hand the mic over to Mr. Vickery. Welcome, class of 2022. Families and friends and honored guests, I'd like to share some incredible facts about this staff. 
are these, these kids out here. In the Hill High class of 2022, seated in front of you, there are 18 valedictorians and one salutatorian. Please stand. Nice. Four Hill High graduates have earned an IB diploma and 32 have completed the IB Honors Career and College Pathway. Please stand. Nice. 51 Hill High graduates have met the requirements to earn the state seal of biliteracy and diploma that is recognized at the state level. Please stand. Thank you. 204 members of the class of 2022 completed a college and career pathway here at Hill High. You will see these students that are wearing a cord in each color representing a different college and career pathway. Please stand and be recognized. <laughs> nice. 71 students have completed the requirements of the Hillsboro School District's Chancellor Diploma. These students will be decorated in white tassel on their graduation caps. Please stand up. Nice job. 68 students were able to complete all of their graduation requirements prior to May 2022 and graduate early. A truly amazing task considered the challenges we've had for the last two years. If you're here, stand up. There we go. Thanks for coming. Over 128 students in the senior class are first generation high school graduates and will be wearing a black and red cord. Please rise and be recognized. Congratulations. We have over 51 Oregon School Activities Association scholar athletes and activity scholars. Please stand and be recognized. Nice job. We have 27 students who plan to enlist in the military. Thank you for your future service. Please stand and be recognized. We have over 59 seniors have indicated that they have received at least one scholarship to attend a college of their choice. This class has earned millions of dollars in scholarships. Please rise and be acknowledged. Nice. Last but not least, each graduating senior here this morning has met all the requirements of the Hillsborough School District in the state of Oregon. Students of Hillsborough High School Class of 2022, please stand and be recognized. All right. To the class of 2022, I want to start by saying how proud I am of all of you, how proud the staff is of all of you, how proud your families are of you. There's people that you have never even met that are proud of you. It just feels great to be here right now. Extraordinary, if you think about it, out of what your high school experience has been. 1,376 days ago, you all showed up at Hill High as freshmen, excited, scared, ran through the tunnel, thinking, man, this high school experience is gonna be awesome. 1,174 days ago, construction started, and the fences went up. Some of you came up to me and said, man, it really looks like a prison here. Can we decorate the fences? <laughs> 891 days ago, you all got to move into the luxurious Spartan Estates. Not many kids can say they went to school in a gated community. 
817 days ago, you all got that extra week of spring break. So this whole COVID-19 thing could blow over. 641 days ago, you all became full-time online learners, or CDL. 425 days ago, you all came back to school, kind of, every other day, sometimes. 75 days ago, you got to not wear a mask at school if you choose. That means, if my, my, my math is correct, 275 days of your four-year high school experience was considered normal. We have something in common, because that means 275 days of my principal experience has been normal. If I could go back in time and change that, I would, but I can't. What I can do is let each and every one of you know that you're stronger for having gone through that. And that the only day that matters is right now. And you should be very proud of yourselves for what you've done. So now it's the advice part of my speech. I have shortened it. There's only three. The first one, number one, be kind to people. If anything these last few years have taught us is you never really know what somebody's going through. So be kind if you can be anything. Two, get a dog as an adult. I know, I know, some of you have dogs now or have had family dogs in the past, but getting a dog as an adult is different. They're great listeners. And when the world is not being kind to you, they will be. A friend of mine gave a speech just like this one day, and he said that dogs are better than best friends. And if you don't believe me, lock both of them in a bathroom for two hours, let them out, and see which one is happy to see you. <laughs> Three, remember this day. Remember what you did here. Remember all you did to get here. But also remember that this is the only the start of your journey. All right, keep going. I've talked enough, long enough. All right, class of 2022, like the classes before you, you have left your mark on Hill High. You will all go different directions after this, but remember, you are all Spartans forever, and we are Hill High. One last thing. Please do not call me Mr. Vickery anymore. My name is Dave, or you can call me Vic. You've earned it. Thank you, Vic, for your unwavering support for the class of 2022. There is no principal we would rather go through the past two years with, and that's really saying something. Now please join me in welcoming Hill High ASB President, Love Valdez, and Hill High Director of Clubs, Jasmine Torres. Spartans, well y'all, we made it. The day is finally here. Honestly, I didn't think that we would make it, especially knowing what the last three years had looked like for us. Thankfully, we made it to graduation day together. Hola, Spartanos. Bueno, todos lo logramos. Por fin llegó el día. Honestamente, no pensé que lo lograríamos, especialmente sabiendo cómo había sido los últimos tres años para nosotros. Afortunadamente, llegamos juntos al día de la graduación. As the ASB president this year, I knew that our school year would be definitely be something. This year has been full of deciding what we want to do next and stressing over where we belong or who we belong with, but it's also been full of love and laughter. Como presidente de ASB, este año sabía que nuestro año escolar definitivamente sería algo. Este año ha estado lleno de decisiones sobre lo que queremos hacer a continuación y de estrés sobre a dónde pertenecemos o con quién pertenecemos. Pero también ha estado lleno de amor y risas. Class of 22, as of right now, you are the only class who got a full year of the, of the classic high school experience. Our freshmen, sophomores, and all of our juniors walked into this year probably clueless, but we were able to rebuild the community that Hill High is. 
Clase de 22. A partir de ahora, eres la única clase que obtuvo un año completo de la experiencia clásica de la preparatoria. Nuestros estudiantes de primer año, estudiantes de segundo año y todos nuestros estudiantes de tercer año entraron en este año probablemente sin idea, pero pudimos reconstruir la comunidad que es Hill High. If you are one of those freshmen, sophomores, or juniors, I want you to remember that the best part of high school is the, best, is the people around you. So remember to cherish every chance you get to be with them. Si eres uno de esos estudiantes de primer, segundo, o tercer año, quiero que recuerdas que la mejor parte de la preparatoria es la gente que te rodea. Así que recuerda apreciar cada oportunidad, oportunidad que tengas de estar con ellos. Like some people, including myself, Hill High has been like a second home to me. I mean, if you know me personally, you know that I'm at school longer than most staff members. Al igual que algunas personas, incluido yo misma, Hill High ha sido como un segundo hogar para mí. Quería decir, si me conoces personalmente, sabes que estoy en la escuela más tiempo que la mayoría de, de los miembros del personal. So seniors, no matter what you choose to do after our high school days are over, know that you will always have a home here at Hill High. Entonces, estudiantes del último año, no importa lo que eligen hacer después de que terminan nuestros días de la preparatoria, sepan que siempre tendrán un hogar aquí en Hill High. I wanted to take a second to thank my closest friends. Hey guys, you know who you are, love you. Um, my awesome ASV team, my student council, and my favorite teacher on the whole planet, Sarah Cole. You are the reason Hill High has been my home. I will forever be grateful for every second we spent together and only slightly regret the amount of money we spent on Red Bull together. Quería tomar un segundo para agradecer a mis amigos más cercanos. Hola a todos, ustedes saben quién son, los amo mucho. Mi impresionante equipo de ASB, mi consejo estudiantil y la maestra favorita del planeta, Sarah Cole. Tú eres la razón por la que Hill High ha sido mi hogar. Siempre estará agradecida por cada segundo que hemos pasado juntos y solo me arrepentí un poco de la cantidad de dinero que hemos gastado en Red Bull. I also wanted to thank my family for pushing me to keep going, especially on the days I wanted to stop. To my sisters, thank you for forcing me to get my license two months before school ended. I wouldn't want to be the middle child of any other group of siblings. To my Lola, Lolo, Mama, and Papa, and the rest of my family, thank you for always reminding me that I am capable of everything. And lastly, to my mom and dad, thank you for constantly reminding me of, the, of my worth and the kind of love that I deserve. También quería agradecer a mi familia por empujarme a seguir adelante, especialmente en los días que quería parar. A mis hermanas, gracias por obligarme a sacar mi licencia dos meses antes de que terminara la escuela. No quisiera ser la hija del medio de ningún otro grupo de hermanas. A mis abuelos y al resto de mi familia, gracias por recordarme siempre que soy capaz de todo. Y por último, a mis padres, gracias por recordarme constantemente que lo que valgo y el tipo de amor que merezco. I'm so proud to be a part of a class who has overcome things like mental health issues and the amount of stress this last year's, the last three years has thrown at us. You all remind me every day that we are all strong and have such an abundant and rich life ahead of us. Estoy muy orgullosa de ser parte de una clase que ha superado como cosas como las, los problemas de salud mental y la cantidad de estrés que nos ha causado estos últimos tres años. Todos ustedes me recuerdan todos los días que todos somos fuertes y tenemos una vida abundante y rica por delante. Class of 22, and to everyone else listening, remember to be there for the people in your lives. Hug the person next to you, tell them you love them, and keep on being a support system for them. It means so much more than you think. Clase de 22 y todos los demás escuchando, recuerden estar allí para las personas en sus vidas. Abraza a la persona que está a tu lado, dile que la amas y sigue siendo un sistema de apoyo para ellos. Significa mucho más de lo que piensas. And for the very last time, this is Love Valdez, your ASB president. Thank you. Y por la última vez, este es Love Valdez, su presidente de ASB. Ahora despidiendo por última vez, yo soy Yasmin Torres Barajas, directa de clubs y presentadora de Noticias Espartanos. Adiós, Espartanos. And now we'll enjoy a musical performance of In My Life by the one and only Hill High Encore Choir, directed by Ben Noyes.
for people and things that went before. No, I know I'll often stop and think about them. In my life, I loved you more. No, I know I'll never lose affection for people and things that went before. I know I'll often stop and think about them. In my Thank you, Hill High Encore. That was beautiful. Next, please welcome our senior class president, Margaret Shively, and student representative to the school board, Kaylee Vasquez. On behalf of my classmates, I would like to welcome all faculty, families, friends, and guests here today. I'm honored to have the privilege to speak to you all. I want to start by saying it has been an interesting four years. With all that has been thrown at our class and the unusual obstacles we have had to overcome, our class has remained strong. That's why our class motto this year is find a way or make one. I find it quite fitting for us, not only because we have persevered through what will be told in history books as the craziest years of high school, but because those years never reflected on who we are. Sure, our events were put on hold and we had restrictions on specific things, but the spirit of our class never faltered. This year, we couldn't find a way, so we made one. We carved the path for future years with our creativity and willingness to change, creating a new meaning for determination. This moment right here characterizes the end of an era for us. It's the end of pulling up to school late because, let's be real, no one shows up to first period early. It's the end of opening up a pack of gum and coincidentally becoming the most popular person in that class. And it's the end of cracking open that Red Bull to stay awake, although I still think a lot of us will continue to do that. But what we need to remember is that this moment right now is also the beginning of the next chapter of our lives. It's the chapter that defines who we are and will hold the most character development. For everyone who is in Lang and Lit, this next chapter would be marked up like nobody's business. It's a scary thought to think about the future and what becomes of us, but just as we would do with a really good book, we must flip the page and keep reading. With that being said, graduating class of 2022, let's get excited about the future. De parte de mis compañeros de clase, quiero darle las bienvenidas a facultad, amigos, familias invitados aquí hoy. Tengo el privilegio y el honor de hablar con ustedes. Quiero comenzar por decir que ha sido unos cuatro años interesantes. Con todo lo que ha pasado a nuestra clase y los obstáculos fuera de lo normal que hemos debido que superar, nuestra clase ha sido fuerte. Por esa razón, el dicho de este año es, encuentra un camino o haz uno. Creo que nos queda muy bien, no solo porque hemos preservado lo que se llamará en libros de historia como los años más locos de la preparatoria, pero porque esos años nunca reflejaron quiénes somos. Claro, tuvimos nuestros eventos puestos en pausa y teníamos restricciones, pero en el espíritu de nuestra clase nunca cambió. Este año no podíamos encontrar un camino, entonces creamos una. Nosotros creamos el camino para los siguientes años con nuestra creatividad y, y cambiar en buena voluntad. Creamos una nueva definición para determinación. Este momento aquí caracteriza el fin de una época para nosotros. 
es el fin de llegar tarde a la escuela, porque de verdad, la mayoría de nosotros no llegábamos a nuestra primer clase a tiempo. <ríe> es el fin de abrir un paquete de chicle y volverte la persona más popular de la clase. Es el fin de abrir ese Red Bull para quedarte despierta. Aunque creo que muchos de nosotros seguiremos haciendo eso. Pero lo que necesitamos que recordar es que este es el momento. Ahora también es el comienzo de la próxima etapa de nuestras vidas. Es el capítulo que define quién somos y que demuestra el desarrollo de carácter. Para todos quienes tuvieron una clase de lenguaje y literatura en inglés, este próximo capítulo estará marcado como si, fuera, como si no fuera asunto de nadie. Es, uno, como, es como pasar al futuro y lo que nos pasará, pero como haríamos con un buen libro, solo podemos seguir cambiando las páginas para seguir leyendo. Y habiendo dicho eso, bienvenidos a todos al comienzo de la ceremonia para la graduación de Hillsborough High School, clase 2022. Hay que emocionarnos para el futuro. Thank you. At this time in our program, we take a moment to acknowledge the outstanding academic achievements of our students. First, I would like to recognize our valedictorians and salutatorians from the class of 2022. Both valedictorians and salutatorians have earned a chancellor's diploma. Valedictorians have also earned an unweighted GPA of 4.0. We are so proud of our students and their accomplishments, and we honor them today. Students, please stand when your name is called. Our 2022 salutatorian is Colin Rickus. And our 2022 valedictorians are Oscar Alexander, Brooklyn DeBoer, Spencer Dickinson, Aaron Felder, Joshua Hancock, Christian Marquez, Cassidy Meekum, Abigail Mendoza, Jonathan Molman, Ryan Narden, Susan Olson, Jackson Price, Areli Santos Gomez, Margaret Shively, Trenton Stark, Sabrina Turnes, Kalia Webb, and Emily Mendez Martinez. Congratulations to these students. Hillsborough High School is connected to an international organization of schools, the International Baccalaureate, which aims to develop inquiring, knowledgeable, and caring young people who help to create a better and more peaceful world through intercultural understanding and respect. IB diploma candidates complete and test in six advanced courses during their junior and senior years, while simultaneously completing a 4,000-word independent research essay and engaging in extensive service learning projects. The IB Diploma Program is widely regarded as the most rigorous college preparatory program in the world. And these students now join a global cohort of their peers as IB Diploma graduates. Students, please stand when your name is called. Susan Olson. Jackson Price. Sabrina Turnes and Kaylee Vaxquez Burjos. Congratulations to these scholars. Thank you.
Hill High is unique in the Hillsborough School District as the only high school that currently offers a full dual language program in Spanish and English. This year, we are pleased to recognize our sixth graduating class of the LP students. The students who participate in the program can also earn the bilingual diploma from the state of Oregon for outstanding preparation for living, working, and serving in our multilingual, multicultural community and beyond. The students, please stand when your name is called. Families, please hold your applause until all names have been called. Our bilingual diploma recipients for 2022 are Liliana Acosta, Lilibeth Aguilar Diaz, Tatiana Aguilar Navarro, Sidlalit Alonso Hernández, Rafael Cervantes, Marisol Chávez Sayago, Anthony Cruz Contreras, Ervin Dávila, Andrea de Jesús Luna, Micaela Fernando Zacarías, Itzel Gaona Bran, Ángeles García Ambrosio, Fátima González, Kennedy Hall, Leslie Rejón Calderón, Elizabeth Jiménez Santaella, Juana Juan Diego, Margaret López Vargas, Andrea Marín Moya, Vanessa Martínez Rivera, Miguel, Miguel Ángel Melo Lázaro, Emily Méndez Martínez, Misa Méndez Vargas, Emma Mendoza Barragán, Abigail Mendoza, Ángel Moreno García, Andrea Nolasco Maldonado, Angelina Olea Monsiváis, Reina Osorio Juárez, Silverio Padilla Estrella, Jackson Price, Ayana Puga, Emily Ramírez Morales, Sarah Reed, Colin Ricky's, Juliana Rodríguez del Carmen, Joana Rodríguez Martínez, Fiorella Romero López, Jessica Sánchez Cauich, Areli Santos Gómez, Joseph Sop Gonón, Adalid Soto Mata, Diego Tapia Silva, Sabrina Turnes, Héctor Vázquez Ortiz, Gustavo Vázquez Vázquez, Kaylee Guadalupe Vázquez Burgos, Diego Velasco Ramírez, Laura Velázquez Alvarado, Mariana Villanueva Vega, Salvador Siab Rizcache. Congratulations to these students. You may be seated. In addition to the dual language program, there are 91 Hill High students receiving the Hillsborough School District's bilingual recognition. Will those students please rise? Thank you. Now, it's my pleasure to welcome to the stage Emily Mendez, who will speak about creating our own paths. Thank you. When we started high school, many of us didn't know what to expect. Some of us were excited for this new chapter, but also afraid. 
Our freshman year had its ups and downs, but we eventually adapted to all the new changes. Then sophomore year came along and things quickly changed. This time, we had to adapt to even bigger changes and learn how to navigate working from home. For some of us, working from home was not an issue. Some had a safe home to go to, meals for each day, materials needed for school, and a great support system. However, this was unfortunately not the reality for many students. A large number of my classmates relied on coming to school to receive the support they needed, but because of COVID, many of us were left to figure out a solution on our own. Cuando empezamos la preparatoria, muchos de nosotros no sabíamos qué esperar. Algunos de nosotros estábamos emocionados por este nuevo capítulo, pero también teníamos miedo. Nuestro primer año tuvo altibajos, pero eventualmente nos adaptamos a todos los nuevos cambios. Luego, luego llegó el segundo año de la preparatoria y las cosas cambiaron rápidamente. Esta vez tuvimos que adaptarnos a cambios aún mayores y teníamos que navegar trabajando en casa. Para algunos de nosotros, trabajar en casa no era un problema. Algunos teníamos, tenían un hogar seguro al que ir, comidas para cada día, materiales necesarios para la escuela y un gran sistema de apoyo. Sin embargo, lamentablemente, esta no era la realidad para muchos estudiantes. Un gran número de mis compañeros dependían en venir a la escuela para recibir el apoyo que necesitaban, pero debido al COVID, muchos de nosotros tuvimos que encontrar una solución por nuestra propia cuenta. COVID also took away the opportunity for our class to work as a team and live the typical high school experience together. We may have not been able to get to know each other a little better, but I do believe that our class has still managed to build a strong family that supports one another. COVID challenged us in many ways, but it also gave us the opportunity to educate ourselves and become more aware of the issues going on around us. I like to think that some of us had the chance to learn more about ourselves, learn to be grateful for the little things, forget about the materialistic things, and focus more on being present. COVID también le quitó la oportunidad a nuestra clase de trabajar en equipo y vivir juntos la experiencia típica de la preparatoria. Es posible que no hayamos podido conocernos un poco mejor, pero creo que nuestra clase ha logrado construir una familia fuerte que se apoya el uno al otro. COVID nos desafió de muchas maneras, pero también nos dio la oportunidad de educarnos y ser más conscientes de los problemas que suceden a nuestro alrededor. Me gusta pensar que muchos de nosotros tuvimos la oportunidad de aprender más sobre nosotros mismos, aprender a ser agradecidos por las cosas pequeñas, olvidarnos de las cosas materialistas y concentrarnos más en estar presentes. While high school truly pushed me to my limits, I am thankful for the lessons that I learned and the valuable friendships that I gained. High school provided us with the opportunity to find our own path and continue our education. While some of us may not have an exact plan for next year, I trust and believe that everything will fall into place. It is very easy to fall under pressure and think that you may be falling behind, but remember that we are all going at our own pace. We all have different goals, which means that our journeys will all look different. Some of us will go to college, others will take a gap year, and others may not go to school at all, and that's okay. If right now college is not part of your plans, try not to stress because it will never be too late to go back to school. La preparatoria, la preparatoria realmente me llevó a mis límites, pero estoy agradecida por las lecciones que aprendí y las valiosas amistades que obtuve. La preparatoria nos dio la oportunidad de encontrar nuestro propio camino y continuar, continuar nuestra educación. Es posible que algunos de nosotros no tengamos un plan exacto para el año para el próximo año, pero confío y creo que todo llegará a su tiempo. Es muy fácil caer bajo presión y pensar que te estás retrasando, pero recuerden que todos vamos a nuestro propio paso. Todos tenemos objetivos diferentes, lo que significa que nuestros caminos serán diferentes. Algunos de, nos, de nosotros iremos a la universidad, otros tomaremos un año de descanso y otros no irán a la escuela y eso está bien. Si en estos momentos la universidad no forma parte de tus planes, trata de no estresarte porque nunca será demasiado tarde para volver a estudiar. I want to use this time to congratulate all of the students that are graduating today, but especially those that are first generation graduates. Being first generation is not easy. There is a lot of pressure, confusion, and responsibilities that are often put onto us. Things may feel very scary right now, but I know that we will accomplish big things and make it far in life, no matter how long it takes. This graduation will be the first of many more milestones to come, so don't let anyone get in your way or tell you otherwise. 
Explore your options, create your own path, and don't settle for less. Quiero aprovechar este tiempo para felicitar a todos los estudiantes que se gradúan hoy, pero especialmente a los estudiantes que son de primera generación. Ser de primera generación no es fácil. Hay mucha presión, confusión y responsabilidades que a menudo se nos imponen. Las cosas pueden parecer muy aterradoras en este momento, pero sé que lograremos cosas grandes y llegaremos lejos en la vida, sin importar cuánto tiempo nos tome. Esta graduación será la primera de muchas metas más por venir, así que no dejen que nadie se interponga en su camino o les diga lo contrario. Exploren sus opciones, crean su propio camino y no se conformen con menos. I want to give a huge thanks to all of the staff that supported and guided us along the way. Without your patience, kindness, and advice, many of us wouldn't have been able to make the right choices for ourselves. Thank you to the teachers who always made time to stay after school and tutor their students. Thank you to the counselors who provided students with a comfortable and safe space to talk. Thank you to the cafeteria personnel for providing students with quick and warm meals every day. Thank you to the custodians for working extra hard before, during, and after school in order to keep our areas clean. Thank you to our librarian for creating a safe, respectful, and inclusive workspace for students to feel welcome. Lastly, thank you to all the adults who use their own money to buy snacks for students who do not have time to eat or do not have access to food. Staff are not thanked enough for all that they do. I hope they know that their hard work and kind gestures do not go unnoticed. Quiero agradecer enormemente a todo el personal que nos apoyó y nos guió en el camino. Sin su paciencia, amabilidad y consejos, muchos de nosotros no habríamos podido tomar las decisiones correctas para nosotros mismos. Gracias a los maestros que siempre reservaban tiempo para quedarse después de la escuela y dar tutoría a sus alumnos. Gracias a los consejeros que nos ofrecieron un espacio cómodo y seguro para hablar de nuestra vida personal. Gracias al personal de la cafetería por siempre tener listo comidas calientes todos los días para los alumnos. Gracias a los trabajadores de limpieza por trabajar antes, durante y después de clase para mantener nuestras áreas limpias. Gracias a la encargada de la biblioteca por crear un espacio de trabajo seguro, respetuoso e inclusivo para que los estudiantes se sintieran bienvenidos. Y por último, gracias a los adultos que usaban su propio dinero para comprar bocadillos para los estudiantes que no, que no tenían tiempo para comer o que no tenían acceso a alimentos. No se agradece lo suficiente. Denme un momento, por favor. Gracias a la encargada de la... No se agradece lo suficiente al personal por todo lo que hacen. Espero que sepan que su trabajo y amables gestos no pasan desap desapercibido. Most importantly, I want to honor our parents. In specific, the parents who immigrated to the United States to provide their families with more opportunities and a chance at having a better future. For many of our parents, immigrating to a new country meant leaving behind their family, friends, and the place they called home. Our parents moved to a different country not knowing what to expect. They had to adapt to a completely new world and learn how to navigate it on their own. They were aware that things may not work out, but still showed up every day in hopes for an opportunity. Our parents faced discrimination and were turned away multiple times, but they always found the strength to get back up and try again. Our parents went days without sleeping because of constant worries and worked multiple jobs to provide their families with a roof over their heads. The majority of the time, our parents were overworked and underpaid, but they never once complained. With time, our parents created their own path. The people who never gave them a chance only pushed them to work harder to achieve their dreams. Lo más importante que quiero hacer hoy es honrar a nuestros padres. En específico, los padres que emigraron a los Estados Unidos para darle a sus familias más oportunidades y la posibilidad de tener un mejor futuro. Para muchos de, nosotros, de nuestros padres, emigrar a un, un nuevo país significó dejar atrás a su familia, sus amigos y su hogar. Nuestros padres se mudaron a un país diferente sin saber qué esperar. Tuvieron que adaptarse a un mundo completamente nuevo y aprender a navegarlo por su cuenta. Eran conscientes de que sus planes no podrían funcionar, pero aún así, ellos siguieron adelante todos los días con la esperanza de una oportunidad. 
Nuestros padres enfrentaron discriminación y fueron rechazados varias veces, pero siempre encontraron la fuerza para levantarse e intentarlo de nuevo. Nuestros padres pasaban días sin dormir debido a las preocupaciones constantes y trabaja, trabajaban en múltiples trabajos para brindarle a sus familias un techo. La mayoría del tiempo, nuestros padres no tenían un día de descanso, pero ellos nunca se quejaron. Con el tiempo, nuestros padres crearon su propio camino. Las personas que nunca les dieron una oportunidad, solo los empujaron a echarle más ganas para lograr sus sueños. Today, I can proudly say that I am a first generation Latina who will be the last of my siblings to graduate high school, but the first to pursue a career in the medical field. I owe my passion of caring for families and children to a very special person. To a very special person. to a very special person who I hold close to my heart and is now my guardian angel. Hoy puedo decir con orgullo que soy una Latina de primera generación que será la última de mis hermanos en graduarse de la preparatoria, pero la primera enfermera en la familia. Le debo mi pasión por cuidar de familias y niños a una persona muy especial a quien llevo muy cerca de mi corazón y que ahora es mi ángel de la guarda. I stand here today for my father, for my mother and my father, for my parents who unfortunately never had the opportunity to continue their education because at a young age, they became the main providers to their parents and siblings. My accomplishments are not only an achievement for myself, but for my parents. I hope my parents are so, as proud of me as I am of them. I graduate today in honor of my, mo my mother and father who came to the United States with nothing but always gave me everything and more. Estoy aquí. Estoy aquí hoy para mi madre y mi padre, para mis padres que lamentablemente nunca tuvieron la oportunidad de continuar con su educación porque a una temprana edad se convirtieron en el apoyo principal de sus padres y hermanos. Mis logros no, solo, no son solo para mí, sino también para mis padres. Espero que mis padres estén tan orgullosos de mí como yo de ellos. Me graduo hoy en honor de mi madre en honor a mi madre y mi padre, quienes llegaron a los Estados Unidos sin nada, pero siempre me lo dieron todo y más. Thank you. Muchas gracias. I am now pleased to present the Hillhai Mariachi, Mariachi Sangre Azul, who will be entertaining us with our next musical performance this morning. Un, dos, tres. Alegrense, mi gente. ¡Ya lo logramos! Cabiña verde se refresca en sus mollates. Allá en la cabiña verde se refresca en sus mollates. Este es un son muy alegre, es el son de los aguacates. I'm 
amor, recuérdame. No llores, por favor. Te llevo en mi corazón y cerca me tendrás. A solas yo te cantaré soñando en regresar. Recuérdame. Hoy me tengo que emigrar. Recuérdame. Mi guitarra hoy es llorar. Ella con su triste canto te acompañará hasta que en mis brazos estés. Recuérdame. Mariachi Sangre Azul. Goodbye, remember me. Don't let it make you cry. For even if I'm far away, I hold you in my heart. I sing a secret song to you each night. We are apart. Remember me. Though I have to travel far, remember me. Each time you hear a sad guitar. Know that I'm with you, the only way that I can be. Until you're in my arms again. Recuérdame. Thank you. Next this afternoon, we have our teacher speakers who are chosen by our class. While we can only nominate a select few honored staff members, let's take a moment to recognize all the educators and the positive impact they've made on each of us over the course of the last 13 years. Seniors, please give all of our teachers and staff a round of applause. Now please join me in welcoming our staff speakers who are selected by the class of 2022 and who will share their wisdom with us, Ms. Palaya Roberts and Dr. Arez. Miren a su alrededor. Que ven. Lo han conseguido, muchachos, lo han conseguido. Enhorabuena. Ese día tan esperado, por fin ha llegado y nos va a llover. Hay momentos en la vida, a menudo inesperados, que nos definen. Hay momentos en la vida que nos definen no tanto por el momento en sí mismo, sino por lo que hacemos y aprendemos al vivirlos. Aquí tienen un buen ejemplo. A veces llueve. Ustedes son una generación de estudiantes que en su segundo año tuvieron que acostumbrarse a las clases de portátiles. La clase que se tuvo que ir de vacaciones de primavera una semana antes y que ya no pudo volver a clase hasta 15 meses después. Ustedes son la generación que en su tercer año tuvo que acceder a la educación conectándose a una computadora para poder ver a sus maestros y a sus compañeros. I want you all to take a second and to look around. Yes, it's raining a lot, so we'll go quickly. Um, you did it. We are here because you did it. The class of 2022 persevered over tumultuous, and if we're being honest, a pretty insanely difficult four years. Nevertheless, you are here. We are here to celebrate you. You, with maybe a little help from your family, Classroom aides, friends, coaches, grad coaches, counselors, and teachers made it to here, to this stadium, at this time. You are the class that had only one normal year. Your sophomore year was mostly spent in the Spartan States, from which I've heard was pretty epic. 
And then as some of the classes starting to go back to normal, uh, we had a two week spring break that then of course turned into 15 months of distance learning and then hybrid learning. Los últimos cuatro años han sido particularmente difíciles para algunos de ustedes y sus familias. Somos conscientes de ello. Todos sabemos de alguien que debería estar aquí hoy con nosotros y no puede. Algunos de ustedes tuvieron que comenzar a trabajar al mismo tiempo que continuaban sus estudios. Otros tuvieron que cuidar de algún ser querido que dependía de ustedes. Algunos tuvieron que enfrentarse a los desafíos mentales y emocionales de no relacionarse en persona con amigos y maestros. Estas y otras tantas experiencias les han preparado para estar hoy aquí y entender más profundamente la importancia y la magnitud de este momento. These last four have been particularly difficult for some, if not most of you. We all know someone who should be here with us, but for whatever reason is not. Many of you were placed in positions where you had heightened responsibilities, whether it be helping with your younger siblings or had to begin working in order to help your families. Others were mentally, emotionally, and or physically challenged at a time of extreme social isolation, social unrest, and uncertainty of the future. Nevertheless, you are here. You have made it to this moment. Ustedes se gradúan hoy de la secundaria. Cierran un capítulo de sus vidas para comenzar otro mucho más grande. Me gustaría que consideren por un momento que la escuela secundaria ha sido como un ensayo general para la vida. Han aprendido que un obstáculo es simplemente una oportunidad de aprender algo, algo nuevo, o de mejorarse a sí mismos. Han aprendido que los desafíos se superan a base de perseverancia, de echarle ganas aun cuando parece que no sabemos de dónde sacarlas. Han aprendido que frente a las voces que les dicen que no pueden, que ustedes no son capaces, que es algo demasiado difícil, ustedes ahora dicen, sí se puede, yo puedo. Keep in mind that high school was a rehearsal for life. Wherever you go on your next journey, whatever you do will have its own set of challenges and unexpected hurdles. Yet I am confident that you will overcome those obstacles as you did the ones that you have overcome the last four years. Uno de mis maestros de historia de la secundaria me dijo una vez que ninguna generación en la historia ha llegado a vivir o a decir que vivieron durante tiempos fáciles. Donde quiera que ustedes vayan, encontrarán desafíos, contratiempos, barreras, barreras inesperadas. Tal vez la dificultad no sea cómo entregar una asignación en Google Classroom o cómo pedir ayuda a los maestros cuando ustedes necesiten instrucción y guía. Pero yo estoy aquí para decirles que no tengan miedo. Seguro que esos desafíos requerirán creatividad y gran capacidad de innovación y flexibilidad que les permita adaptarse a los cambios a los que tendrán que enfrentarse. Pero recuerden por qué están ustedes hoy aquí. Ustedes están hoy aquí porque perseveraron en su afán por adaptarse a situaciones nuevas y cambiantes. Hoy estamos aquí para celebrar su decisión y su éxito. You have endured annoying, unpredictable, and at times devastating moments, but you have also learned more about yourself, learned to take granted the small moments, and you maintained your humanity regardless of all of the stress and obstacles. You are here. We are celebrating you because you have endured all of the times, whether they be good, bad, exhausting, exciting, awful, or painfully awkward. You are undoubtedly a different person than you were four years ago when you entered Hillsborough High School. Y son precisamente esos momentos difíciles donde se forma nuestro carácter. Ustedes han tenido una oportunidad especial de hacer esto en los últimos cuatro años y por eso están hoy aquí. Porque han triunfado. Sabemos que tienen las habilidades y las destrezas para continuar haciéndolo en el futuro. Y lo harán con éxito. Es así como han creado ustedes una nueva identidad con una capacidad de resistencia a la adversidad que les acompañará en todos sus caminos. You have been exposed to new and challenging experience and environments throughout the last four years. You learned because you adapted and as a result of it, you are here today. This is so perfect. <laughs> uh, so here are my final thoughts. One, don't be afraid to change your mind and do not compare yourself to others. All of you, even those of you who think they have the next 10 years planned out or so, should never be afraid to change your mind. 
Things change, people change, and if these last four years have taught us anything, it is that you need to be able to change, be willing to change, and that you are 100% capable of change. Literally, you are graduating in the pouring down rain during a worldwide pandemic. (laughs) Number two, accept and expect to need help. Everyone at some point will need help. Oh no, is that the Bucina? No, we're going, okay. Uh, My recommendation, whether you continue into the workforce, a trade school, or college and university, is that you accept the help when it is offered and find the help when you need it. Three, take pictures and make memories. Maybe don't do what my generation did, which was post literally everything for five years. Um, But do take the pictures and make the memories. Stay up for the all-nighter, maybe not all the time. Uh, Work the extra shifts so that you can take the vacation or see the concert. Do the road trip, hopefully in a reliable vehicle and when the gas prices go down. Um, Whatever you do and whatever brings you joy, please find the time to do it. Four, every single one of you has an opportunity to make a difference. You all matter, your lives matter, and you have the ability to make our community, even the world, a better place. And I sincerely hope that you take even the small moments to show kindness, compassion, and love to others. Okay, finally. (laughs) Class of 22, thank you for the last four years. Thank you for perseverance and resilience. Thank you for the laughs. Thank you for the tears. Thank you for the gray hairs. Um, But most importantly, thank you for being you. You have made a profound impact on Hillsborough High School and on myself. Make good life decisions. Mis últimas palabras para ustedes son, no tengan miedo de cambiar de opinión. Y no se comparen con nadie porque ustedes son únicos. Pidan ayuda cuando la necesiten y no tengan miedo de hacerlo. Solo los fuertes piden ayuda. También recuerden que ustedes son la fuente de ayuda para otras personas que la necesitan. Su comunidad les necesita. Por eso, ayuden siempre que tengan la oportunidad de hacerlo. Ayuden y sean siempre amables. Les garantizo que nunca se van a arrepentir de hacerlo. Encuentren tiempo para disfrutar las pequeñas cosas de la vida, los pequeños momentos, las cosas bellas. Aléjense de los ruidos y de las distracciones y nunca pierdan de vista sus objetivos y lo que realmente les hace felices. Si lo hacen, tendrán éxito. Por último, gracias por habernos regalado tantos buenos momentos, por habernos hecho reír y a veces llorar, por confiar en nosotros y seguir nuestros consejos. No se olviden nunca de su familia espartana. Y si nos ven por la calle o en el supermercado, no duden en venir a saludarnos. Será el mayor reconocimiento y agradecimiento personal que nos puedan dar. Muchas gracias. Enhorabuena. Thank you, Dr. Arez and Ms. Palaya Roberts. That was wonderful and very inspiring. Okay, seniors, this is it. It's almost time to walk across the stage and bid our high school journey a fond farewell. Mr. Vickery, please do the honors. Thank you, speakers. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you, honored guests and families. And now, on behalf of the Hillsborough School District Board of Directors, it is my distinct pleasure to present to you Hillsborough High School's graduating class of 2022. They have met all the graduation requirements of the Hillsborough School District in the state of Oregon. This is the time, seniors, you have all been waiting for, the presentation of the diplomas. And please know that this is also the moment that I look forward to all year. Margaret Shively. Cassidy Meekum. Ben Dunn. Brooklyn DeBoer. K. 
Kaylee Guadalupe Vasquez Burgos. Emily Mendez Martinez. Isabel Tapley. <laughs> Liam Tapley. Joel Ángel Valdez Cabello. Fam, you ready? All right. Loveland, Nojelani, and Playa Valdez. Yasmin Torres Barajas. Nieves Izquierdo. What is up, everybody? My name is Tommy True. Itzel Gaona Bran. Kathleen Padel. Gianna Zoltani. Yeah! Lillian Bull. Yeah! Aaron Felder. Yeah! Nayla Watson. Yeah! Ayana Puga. Yeah, Ayana! Sabrina Turnis. Yeah! Kennedy Hall. Andrews Larson. Yeah! Eli Martin. Areli Santos Gomez. Luke Calvert. <laughs> Colin Ricketts. <laughs> Jonathan Molman. <laughs> Josh Hancock. Spencer Dickinson. Jackson Price. Ryan Narden. Abigail Mendoza. Trenton Stark. Susan Olson. Oscar Alexander. Kalia Webb. Gabe Russell. <laughs> Michael Gross. <laughs> Gabriella Geisler. <laughs> okay. Vin Vo. <laughs> Sarah Reed. Kahea Lani Sharma. Jessica Sanchez Kawich. Jade Hill. Grace Buzzard. Lauren Momer. Sarah Brown. Victoria Brazil. Imani Warnham. Raghava Devery. Miles Wandling. Rebecca Lakatis. Veronica Rodriguez. <laughs> Jonathan Galindo.
Jaden Hauser. Camden Johnson. Jonathan Chavez Magana. Gavin Smith. The one and only Logan LJ Jackson. Owen Hunt. Sam Mulgard. Brody Holm. Emily Harris. Carlos Hernandez Sabero. Also, I'm Batman. Audrey Enos. Michael Ellis and Adonai Praza Nava. Emma Blackwell. JD Mosler. Ian Day. Kim Sellers. Sydney Laramore. Tenzin Victor David St. Clair King. Abigail Mortensen. <laughs> Peyton Alfonso. Chelsea Kinney. Eric Juden. Kyla Erickson. Ellie Whiting. Skylar Rissell. Cheyenne Reynolds. Haley Mullen. Stanley Briones. Elijah Acosta. Rafael Cervantes. Kajeska Lee. Yasmin Busio. Mia Godfrey. Kaylee Her. Beatriz Lopez Preciado. Sonia Gonzalez. Ben Taylor. Serena Mapul. Natalia Yoramari. Hami Opti. Say your name. Say your name. Say your name. Rebecca. 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 Good job. Yeah. Rebecca Gangora. There you go. Kevin Avalos Villanueva. Iridia Lucas Valderas. Kaden Maynard. Devlin Ribe. Alex Gaona. Shout out, Ms. Denny. It's your boy, Andy Nguyen. Shout out, Ms. Denny. Eric Elias Ortega. Shout out, Ms. Denny. Ayana Medina. Alice Rickett. Colin Rains. Gerald Griffin. Shout out to Miss Denny. Jose Torres Castro. Alberto Chavez Rizzo. Carlos Aguilar. Blake McLean. Samantha Blotter. Christian Marquez. Zach Fagler! 
Chris Herr. Sean Kies. Carlos Alvarado Lopez. Connor Glasser. I got so bad. Luke Perez. <clears throat> Darius Walker. Parker Bunny. The English one, Charlie Kuplin. Caden Peters. Colby Ontiveros. Garrett Mason. Joshua Mason. Sandra Mena Padilla. Mahela Vasquez. Jacqueline Perez Sanchez. Jose Manuel Guzman Chavez. Junior Osvaldo Lea Leon. Neri Castañeda Ordóñez. Andrea Domínguez Remigio. Alejandra Núñez Baragán. Daniela Mandujano. Roselín Sánchez Talé. Jose Espinosa Garcia. Joana Rodriguez Martinez. Fiorella Romero Lopez. Andrea de Jesus Luna, also known as DJ. Juliana Rodriguez del Carmen. Lillian Baker Maris. Andrea Nolasco Maldonado. Angelina Oleo Monsivais. Ashley Ransom. Can I go? Laron Richards. <laughs> Mason Reyes. Stephanie Jimenez. <laughs> Lilibeth Aguilar Diaz. Ana Tase Gutierrez. Maria Jimena Villalejo. Lila Rodriguez. Brianna Cheveria. Natalie Villagomez Escamilla. Natalie Delgado Vargas. Juana Juan Diego. Juan Yao. Jareth Peck. Lauren Johnson. Ryan Hansen. Joshua Fritch. Cody Oon. Caden Harif. Aziri Rojas Cardenas. Noe Sanchez. Nathan Fisher. Robert Briscoe. Shout out Miss Yeager. David Alexander Laura. Paul Atancio. Kian Safum. Joey Dahl. Jarrell Sesse. Jacob Silva. Noah Young. Alexander Ludovic. Jared Lee Wise Kaba. Olivia Williams Ryle. Mia Brumel. 
Michaela Legit. Sydney Biddle. Braxton Rodriguez. Kyle Meyer. Marissa Henderson. Kyle Blarock. <laughs> Natalie Mejia Santiago. <laughs> Cynthia Yareli Marin Polvos. <laughs> Marlene Chavez Perez. <laughs> Caitlin Rich. Abdulqafar Mohammed Ali Ali Warsamid Saeed Farah. Grant Hewlett. Margaret Lopez Vargas. Emma Esmeralda Mendoza Barragan. Bria Serrano. Hafsa Tenvir. Adija Nuru. Fernanda Madrigal. Woo! Natalie Lopez Tellez. Ashley Noemi Gasca Menjivar. Liliana Yolanda Acosta. Joseph Sopganon. Y eso es todo, amigos. Jair Duran, ya se la saben. Héctor Santiago Vázquez Ortiz. Salvador Chapriz Cache. Pedro Armando Sop, ya se la saben, patojos. Reina Osorio Juárez. Alyssa Caitlin Cabega Madsen. Madeline Wen. <laughs> Janelle Alisa Bukat Kaluza. <laughs> Renee Soldan. <laughs> Alvina Cardona Miranda. <laughs> Maritza Gaspar Morales. <laughs> Mel Mendez Nieto. Ángeles García Ambrosio. José Ángel Sánchez Gómez. Anthony Cruz Contreras. Natasha Vega Solís. Nancy Mercado Mendoza. Merly Guadalupe Vargas Ramírez. Leslie Rejón Calderón. <laughs> Catherine Hernandez Aguilar. <laughs> Celeste Chávez Arroyo. Marisol Esmeralda Chávez Ayago. <laughs> Menei López Marín. Citlali Alonso Hernández. Rebeca Torres Díaz. Andrea Marín Moya. Shout out to Bianca. Yaley Figueroa Ornelas. Okay. Julisa Gutiérrez Rodríguez. Oscar Francisco Caro. Oh! <laughs> Guadalupe González Zacarías. Micaela Fernando. 
Miguel Melo Lazaro. Uh, Francisco Mendez Nieto. Alejandro Guerrero Garcia. Israel Gonzalez Galindo. Shout out Ms. Harson. Zachary Collins. Leah Sarah. Hey, yo, shout out my class 2022. Brian Dolores Cruz. Vanessa Martinez Rivera. Tatiana Ciclali Aguilar Navarro. Elizabeth Jimenez Santaella. Ricardo Moneybags Marquez. <laughs> Angel Moreno Garcia. Light away! <laughs> Diego Velasco Ramirez. <laughs> Leonardo Pacheco. <laughs> Guillermo Hernandez. <laughs> Adalid Soto Mata. <laughs> Jesus Hernandez Arias. Oscar Perez Mendoza. Luis Antonio Ortiz Camarena. Gama Dagado Alvarado. Eric Misael Mendez Vargas. Silverio Padilla Estrella. Gustavo Vázquez Vázquez. Shout out Medina. Armando Delgado Moya, shout out Medina. Hector Lizama Moya, hey, shout out Medina. De Colombia para el mundo, Felipe Zambrano. Isaac Ramos Cruz. Alex Cruz. John Carlo Lopez, hey, we did it. Sarah Leos. Zariah Moore. Victor Hernandez. Diego Tapia Silva. Sí! Josue Lopez Prado. Cristian Real Correa. Viva Mexico! Oliver Hansen. Ethan Aaron Russell. Tyler Russell. Brian Jared Arellano Sanchez. Muchas gracias, es por la afición. Sí! Jason Hernandez Barrera, son of Sandra Martinez Barrera. Gael Calderón Martinez. Gonzalo Garcia Chavez. God bless America, Troy Bailey. It's the one, it's the only, Tony Jenkins! Mariana Villanueva y arriba Galisco! Fátima González Montiel. Laura Michelle Velázquez Alvarado. Cristina Jacqueline Satema Machic. Woo! Si se pudo! Francisca Lucía Sánchez Champarik. Arriba Guatemala! Early graduate, Shiraz Ahmed, the GOAT. Shout out to class of 2022. <laughs> Montserrat Real Rivera. Liliana Limon. Haley Dixon. Santiago Pedro Martinez. Carlos Lázaro, arriba la raza. Just wait right for here, and then I'll have you go out. 
Don't worry, I got you. Congratulations, class of 2022. You did it. Yet another tradition at Hill High occurs on the students' first day of school when they're greeted by staff with cheers and a welcome tunnel in the gym. A graduation that same tunnel is formed in students to signify the end of their high school experience while staff bids farewell and other congratulations. Staff, at this time, would you please go between the choir stage and the graduates' northeast, e the northeast exit? Audience members, will you please remain on the, off the field until the graduates are in the northeast parking lot and that's where you can meet them. Hill High graduates, the Hill High staff, family, and the community congratulates you on a successful completion of your K-12 education. Make this moment just the beginning of the life in which will ultimately be filled with beautiful friendships and outstanding accomplishments. Graduates, please stand and face your families and friends in the stands. On the count of three, you will turn your tassel signifying the, the new status as a high school graduate. Hand on your tassel on the right side. Here comes the countdown. Three, two, one. Move your tassel to the right, to the left, and celebrate. Congratulations to the Hill High graduation class of 2022.